The Bill Simmons Podcast, presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. All right, Matt Damon's here. We're taping this on a Monday, running it later in the week. So who knows? Who knows what will happen over the next three days in sports and life? Um, let's talk sports first, because last time you came on, we did, we went movies deep, and then late, I felt like we we did the sports at the tail end. We uh, did. Um, Red Sox, Yankees, yeah. how we feeling? Okay, so, well, first of all, I got to qualify all this. I have never been less connected to the sports world than I am right now. I just got back from Australia and then I went to, to France to uh, debut this movie and then came. So I've been following, I'm looking at the box scores. And the other thing I kind of hold you mildly responsible for is when the last time we talked, we had a whole thing. It wasn't clear what was going to happen with Mookie. And, uh, I remember that. And, you, and you said, and, I'm, and I it really stuck with me because you were articulating how I felt. You said, you said something great, which was, um, I've planned to watch this guy. Like I've made plans to watch this guy for like the next 15 years. Like this is a thing that I've, I've been counting on. Like you can't take that away from me. Like we actually have the, the, gen, the once in a generation talent. Like we got him. He's ours. You can't possibly take this away from us. And I was so pissed off when, when we lost him. Yeah. That I, I'd obviously never break up with the Red Sox, but like, you know, I, I was, I was happy to be in Marseille making this movie and just be away from it for that seat. Like I was just like, and then the pandemic hit and uh, you know, and, um, and so I'm kind of, I'm out of it. I'm following in the box scores. I know we're great. I know we're doing great. And, and I think, we're, and I, and I think, and I think we're going to win our division. I mean, I know it's very early, so, but, uh, but I'm, but I'm still reeling from the Mookie thing. I got to tell you. I had that, the same that, thing. That really I fucking hurt. I stopped following them last year. It was the first Red Sox season that basically took off. I knew I was going to come you back. Did. Yeah, you did too. I did. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't feel so bad then. Well, it was pandemic season. It was 60 games. They were clearly yeah. tanking. And, uh, and it just seemed like it, it's like we, like both of us are married to the Red Sox for our, that's going to be our one way for our whole life. But this yeah. was definitely the, I'm going to move out of the house and get an apartment. And I don't know if I'm coming back or not moment. I, I think it, I, I think we need some time apart. <laughs> right. <laughs> just a couple months. <laughs> just a couple months. Like it was a legit, a legit separation. Yeah. Well, the way you weren't in LA when Mookie was kicking ass for the Dodgers and all the Dodgers fans are like, I can't believe we get these, get this guy. How'd you give him up? And I'm like, I know in every single, I mean, I had, when I turned 50 last year, a good, my good friend, Sam Jones was nice enough to record Mookie, you know, sending me a personal message because of course he wears number 50 and it was all about how 50 is such a great number. And I was like, Oh, fuck you, man. I did. It was so, it's just, I just, I'm, I just, I'm not, I'm not going to, it's not going to, we're going to have to forgive the Red Sox and move on. Right. I've got there. That, that's because, because we'll net, you can't, for, there's, you have to get past it on your own. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no, you have to find it in your heart to, well, to let it go because it's not, it's just, it, it, the violation is just too great. It's like, you have to come to your own peace with it somehow. Well, they had the fourth pick in the minor league draft. They drafted this high school shortstop, Marcelo Mayer from San Diego, who was supposed to go first. And it was super exciting. And you, and my guard was like 10% up. It's like, all right, so we're going to have this guy. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm yeah. gonna, gonna to get all. He's, I'm going to feel like he's going to be part of my life until I'm in my 70s. And then you guys are just going to trade him when he's 28. Is that how this is going to play out again? <laughs> <laughs> but you know these guys. You know the owners, though. Like, they, like, would it ever be a situation where you would text or email John Henry and be like, "What the no, fuck? No, what are no, you doing?" No. no. Well, but listen. I mean, look. I mean, remember, remember in '04. I mean, you know that that you know that Nomar move seemed to be so insane. Like, you know, yeah. and and yet we all like there was this deference to Theo, and we all just went, "Oh, hang on a minute. Hang yeah. on a minute." Like. Let the kid do what he's got to do. You know right. what I mean? And obviously that, that, I mean, you can't argue with the results they've had. It's just that Mookie himself was just so insanely likable. He just seemed like the guy, you know what I mean? I, it was like, he's the guy and we got the guy. You know what I mean? I loved every, I, lo lo I still love everything about the guy's game. Of well, course then he went, of course he went and won a world series. That's what, that's what he, that's what he does. 
Well, and also what he could have meant to the city too. I think the Celtics yeah. are in the same spot with Tatum and Brown right now. And Brown, I don't think they're, I don't think they're trading Brown, but Brown gets just thrown into trade rumors every time Dame Lillard or Ben Simmons, like any, and I'm like, I don't want to trade Jalen Brown. The guy loves the no. city. He's going to do like a lot of good stuff off the court. Plus he's That's really right. good on the court. Why do we have to trade him? Yeah. Why do we even talk about it? I hope those are just rumors. I, mean, I think they like, are. Why would, you, why would you mess with those guys? I mean, they're, they're amazing. Well, what about your guy, Brady? Because the last time you were on, I don't, I think he was still a Pat. And now he goes to the Bucks. What was, I know you're filming movies and stuff, but I know you were following this and watching. I watched every Bucks game last year. So you, so you jumped on the bandwagon? Uh, it's not even a bandwagon. I love Tom. I love him. He's, he's a, he's, he's a once in a lifetime athlete for all of us who, who were lucky enough to be able to follow his entire career. I'm riding it all the way to the end. It's not a bandwagon. I'm all in on that guy. I don't, I, you know, the Patriots, I, I don't, I'm, 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 I'm following Tommy. Like, I just, I want to see, I'm just so, the fact that he did that last year on a torn MC, I mean, I just stop it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just awesome. It's, it's such a great story. Um, and uh, I was always a believer, you know, everybody does the, was it Belichick or was it Brady? Belichick's an amazing coach, but I never doubted that it, wasn't Brady. You thought the seesaw was tilted more toward Brady. Yes. In that. Yeah, because he's on the field playing the game. Yeah. I I was hurt. I was hurt that he left. I felt like he ditched I mean, us I mean, a tiny I, bit. No, I got over it. I got over it by halfway through the I, season. I, I didn't I mean he we he they could have kept him. You know, they could have. That's why he, yeah. Yeah. It's like I, I I don't begrudge that guy anything. I actually want him to go I want him to go win another Super Bowl. I think that would be it's just such an awesome story. Did you think that he was hanging on too long? Was there any part of you that no. was like, oh, this is, you're pushing a little bit, buddy? Do you look at the guy's arm? Like he's no. got, he, he, he's, he's, he's got, he, he looks like a 30 year old out there. Like there's no part of like, like I never understood that Max Kellerman thing. I mean, I guess Kellerman was kind of doing the actuary tables was kind of how he described it because you know, there really is that fall off a cliff moment for, for athletes at that level. But Brady showed no, he was making every throw. He still is like, and, and, and never with the uh, collection of wide receivers that other quarterbacks had. I mean, 07, they gave him, you know, when right. Welker showed up in Moss, you were like, oh my God. And I mean, the dude literally almost went 19 and 0. Um, You're starting to scare me. You weren't like wearing a Bucks hat, were you? Like, how far did this go? No, 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 no. I don't I felt, think. I felt I like this scared. was like full fledged sports bigamy going on here. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just, I'm just rooting for him, man. I'm just rooting for him. You know, do you talk to him? You have a relationship with him? Occasionally, you know, like every once in a while, I'll send him a text and stuff. Uh, but, um, don't say I said, we did a bit for Kimmel a couple of years ago, you know, so, I'll, so, but we're not in the same town a lot. Ben bumped into him, uh, last year, but before last season, before he, before he decided which team he was going to. Um, but uh, but no, we see him. We'll see him sporadically. He know? seems relentlessly positive, like a relentlessly positive he, he, person he, to have in your life. He's he's just the nicest guy. Like he's as nice as he seems uh, in those. I mean, he's just a relentlessly positive guy. I mean, it just you know. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's when 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 you've created this like virtual this this virtuous cycle of like goodness everything goes right in your life and it's easy to <laughs> right. you know what i mean and it just keeps going and you're like damn every time you walk away you're like God, that guy really is that nice so well so I you, do. like you, he's the guy you root for i am worried about you know we had we had a nice run with the boston teams and that now that's 2020s now we're one year in we haven't won a title i'm starting to starting to get oh, itchy yeah, it's been like a year and a half the Sox look good the celtics are right there patriots is going to be a while I think if you ask me, that's, that's my, I don't, I don't. Depends uh, if the rookie, if the rookie QB can be good right away. Cause I think the rest of the team's really good. The rookie QB is good. And like, are they going to, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, our defense will show up, but you know, you got to You got to spend some of your resources on people to throw the ball to. True. Well, maybe you should text the rookie QB and tell him you're in his corner. Maybe he needs a confidence boost. Maybe you and Ben should both text him. Hey, listen, we're, we're, I, I, We'll, we'll be all for that guy. I mean, I'm, you know, if he, look, if he, he's got to go get the job, right? Cause it's him and Cam. Aren't they going to, aren't they going to, they, they haven't figured out who's going to be. Uh, yeah. I think they're going to sacrifice Cam for a few weeks and then bring the rookie in. 
once once really? they get to Cam's an easy part great, of the though. schedule. Cam, I, I, I love Cam. I love his game. He's a great dude too. I, I you know I, I definitely pull for that guy. I'd like to see him complete passes that are more than eight yards. So if he can do that, maybe he keeps the job. Last year he was bouncing you, passes all over the place. Grady was there. Didn't they do a stat that, that we had the worst separation of any? I mean, you look wasn't at the, great. Yeah, I mean, you, you're throwing into toaster ovens every time. Like that's really hard to do. 